Okay, so, <coughs> Hello, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, in neurons, different in th in parts are discussed. Okay, I discuss about. Uh, did I discuss still here different types of neurons? Still here, na? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Okay. So today, uh, thank you, Manchu. So okay. So today, uh, we will be discussing about types of neurons. So in the types of neurons, what do you have? In the types of neurons, uh, you have uh, sensory, motor, and interneurons. So these are the three types of uh, neurons that you will find in the what nervous system. Ma'am. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Huh? Ma'am, sorry, neurons are discussed. Oh, sensory neuron already discussed. Okay, it's okay. I'll revise with you again. Okay, okay, so, okay. so in the sensory neurons, uh, what will you find? Uh, with the help of the sensory neurons, you will be able to, uh, I mean, with the help of the sensory neurons, you will be able to know the taste. With the help of the sensory neurons, you will be able to know the smell. Uh, with the help of the sensory neurons, you will be able to hear properly. With the help of the sensory neurons, uh, you will be able to see things. Uh, and also with the help of the sensory neurons, uh, you will also be able to feel the things around you all. Understand? So these are the, uh, I mean, these are the things that uh, you will be able to sense it with the help of these sensory neurons. Okay, next is motor neurons. So motor neurons, with the help of the motor neurons, what can you do? With the help of these motor neurons, uh, it, it helps you in voluntary as well as involuntary. Means voluntary means what? The things which you can control. Understand? And involuntary means which you can't control. So motor neurons, uh, it will help you in both things. That is a voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary means which you can control and involuntary means uh, which you can't control. Understand? So the these motor neurons, uh, they helps uh, they helps you in what they helps. Uh, I mean, what do they do? They will allow the brain and the spinal cord to, to communicate with what to communicate with uh, muscles, uh, and also to communicate with your organs and also with your glands and all the all, all over the parts of your body. The motor neurons. Uh, they play an important part in it. Understand? Motor neurons they helps uh, they helps you in what uh, functioning voluntary as well as involuntary means what like uh, which you can control which you can control means what uh, say for example uh, like uh, in the in the next class I mean I will explain to you about muscles so in the muscles there is smooth muscle so uh, smooth muscle uh, like is the thing which you can uh, which you can't control understand so what what will they do i mean uh, this involuntary movements it comes under the smooth muscle so the smooth muscles are what the digestive system your reproductive system all these things you can't control it it's not it so it comes under involuntary and voluntary means what which you can control say for example your skeletal system so in your skeletal system you can control your physical uh, physical movement uh, that is lifting up your hands raising up your hands uh, putting it down uh, then what then writing all these things you can perform it is not it so all these things are possible because of what because of uh, voluntary movements did you get my point Volunt uh, sorry this motor neurons they can help you in both ways one is voluntary and uh, as well as involuntary if voluntary means uh, the things which you can do and involuntary means the things uh, which occurs automatically which happens automatically so this is about it so motor neurons me kya milega motor neurons me dono milega voluntary or involuntary milega so voluntary means jo hum log khud kar sakte hain dekhiye jaise ki uthna baithna likhna kaam karna aur involuntary means jo hum log nahi kar sakte jaise ki bolo digestive system रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ये सब तो हम लोग खुद नहीं कर सकते है कि नहीं तो वो सब मोटर न्यूरोन्स में आता है 
और मोटर न्यूरॉन्स में क्या होता है उनका ब्रेन और स्पाइनल कॉर्ड कम्युनिकेट करता है इसके साथ हम लोग का मसल्स के साथ हम लोग का ऑर्गेन्स के साथ हम लोग का ग्लैंड के साथ ये सब एक साथ काम करते हैं ओके डिट यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट मोटर न्यूरॉन्स यस मैम ओके सो अगेन इन द मोटर न्यूरॉन्स यू विल फाइंड टू पार्ट्स इट इज लोअर एंड अपर and uh, this is the upper part and this is the lower part so let's see about it so in the motor neurons or oh sorry in the lower motor neurons what will you find in the lower motor neurons you will find that uh, there is to carry signal listen it is from the brain okay it is uh, from uh, from where from the brain to the spinal cord and listen from the brain to the spinal cord So where where do they send message to the smooth muscle? Smooth muscle means uh, which you can't control. Understand which you can't control. For example, uh, digestive system, reproductive system, excretory system, all these things you can't control it. It's not it. So it comes under the smooth muscle and the skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle means what which you can control. Say for example. uh you can raise your hand you can lift your hands i mean you can do any physical activities with the help of the skeletal muscle so the lower motor neurons they plays an important part in the smooth muscle and as well as the skeletal muscle and in the lower motor neurons what happens they will stay to send signal to the spinal cord so that they will perform their function properly and next is what upper motor neurons this one So in the upper new, uh, motor neurons, what will happen? Uh, signal, signal is being sent to your uh, to the brain and the spinal cord in the upper motor neurons. Understand? Signal is sent to the brain and the spinal cord. Okay. Did you understand two types of motor neurons? Okay. This is just an example. uh just example this one huh so when 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 we eat when we eat what happen uh, like uh, this is the example of the lower motor neurons so um, in the lower motor neurons i already said na in the smooth muscle in the smooth muscles uh, consist of what the digestive system so it will send signal to your esophagus stomach intestine so that they can perform the uh, so that they can perform the function properly understand Okay, are you clear about motor neurons, everyone? Ma'am. Ha. Huh. Ma'am, upper motor neurons and lower motor neurons, then dono ka kam ek jaisa hai kya? Nee, lower motor neurons, uh, they carry signal. Okay, they used to carry signal from the from the spinal cord. Okay, this is a spinal cord. They used to carry signal from the spinal cord to the smooth muscle and the skeletal muscle, but upper motor neurons they used to carry signals between your brain and your spinal cord. Understand? Lower motor neurons only spinal cord, and upper motor neurons uh, between brain and spinal cord. Is it clear, Imanshu? Hello, ma'am. Clear, na? Hello, ma'am. Ah, uh, what? Hello. Ah, uh, it's physiology theory or anatomy theory. Anatomy. Actually, uh, in your syllabus, uh, both is there. It's not it. Wait, let me read out. Ah, uh, in your anatomy, yeah, in your anatomy syllabus also. Uh, the nervous system is there. In your yeah yeah in your physiology theory also is there. So you can you can use it for both. But for now, I'm taking anatomy theory. Okay, Manu Shikri. Yes, ma'am. I mean, okay. ma'am. Uh, in anatomy theory, the last topic was I think um, different faces, maybe. Different what? Faces. I mean, menstruation cycle. 
Oh, that one is that one is reproductive reproduction. So it's a new chapter or what? No, no, this one is the same chapter only. Ma'am, human reproduction already done. I have explained about uh, menstrual cycle also, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And uh, what about uh, what about uh, the the male reproductive system? Did I explain? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's already explained. It's already done. It's already done. Yes. Same. Structure of sperm we done. Structure of sperm is also done, right? Okay. Okay. So next is uh, interneurons. So interneurons, uh, they are what? Uh, they are found in your brain and your spinal cord. And interneurons, uh, with the help of these interneurons, what what can you do? Like uh, with the help of these interneurons, they help you in uh, what? What to say? Uh, reacting into something like what it what, which is occurring uh, outside the environment. Listen, they help you in uh, reacting something which is outside the environment. Say for example, like uh, I have given one example here. This one. If you uh, if you are uh, if you touch this candle with your finger, what happens? Obviously, you will take a uh, little. You will be taking your finger out of that candle. It's not it. So that one. So that one is the external external thing. Understand? So uh, the inter inter neurons, they help you in reacting something which is occurring uh, outside the environment. I mean, like, say for example, it is harmful for you. It's not it. If you will touch this uh, candle for a longer period of time, your hand, will, uh, your fingers will burn. So that's why you need to uh, take it off from this candle. In order to protect yourself from it, you have to take it out. So that one is uh, under, it comes under interneurons. Do you get my point? They help you in reacting something. I mean, uh, the external environment which is occurring outside the body, they help you in reacting that. So interneurons me kya hoga? Interneurons me agar samaj lo ki bahar me kuch kuch hai, kuch tumhari liye acha nahi hai. Maine yaha pe mumbati diya hai. Ye mumbati agar tumhara ungli agar ye mumbati ke upar rakhne se kya hoga? Ye matlab zyada samay ke rakhne se kya hoga? Tumhara ye ungli jal jayega. Hai ki nahi? To iske karan tum kya karoge? Tum aise uthaoge. है कि नहीं क्योंकि दर्द हो रहा है ना तुम्हें दर्द महसूस हो रहा है तो उसके वजह से तुम रिएक्ट कर रहे हो है कि नहीं मतलब उस चीज इस उस चीजों में तुम रिएक्ट कर रहे हो उसको बोलते हैं इंटरन्यूरॉन्स इंटरन्यूरॉन्स तुम्हारा जो बाहर की चीजें हैं वो बाहर का चीजें में अगर कुछ नुकसान है तुम्हारे ऊपर तो वो रिएक्ट करने में मदद करता है ओके इज इट क्लियर अबाउट इंटरन्यूरॉन्स आई एम आई एम सेइंग इन ब्रीफ मैंने थोड़ा शॉर्टली से बोला है ओके डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड यस यस ओके ओके नेक्स्ट इज ब्रेन सो द ब्रेन अह व्हाट इज इट इट इज द सेंटर ऑफ योर थॉट्स इट्स नॉट इट लाइक व्हाट एवर इज ऑकरिंग आई मीन अराउंड यू व्हिच व्हिच विल ऑकर आई मीन आई मीन You used to think or not what will happen to me? What will I do? All these things you used to think or not. So all this, all these are who who is responsible? I mean, for you to think about all these things, brain. So the brain is the center of our thoughts. Understand? And the brain it helps you in interpreting. Interpreting means what? Uh, they helps you in understanding the things which is occurring outside the environment as well as inside the body, which is. Uh, which is happening, which is happening in, uh, outside as well as inside, and it also controls all your body movements. Understand? And the brain has got uh, four parts. So this is the cerebrum. Uh, this is the diencephalon. 
in the diencephalon, you will be getting thalamus, this one, and hypothalamus. Next is the brain stem. This is the brain stem. So in the brain stem, uh, what will you find? You will find midbrain, uh, pons, and medulla oblongata. So these are the three parts you will find in the midbrain. Next is cerebellum. So this is the cerebellum. So this is brain. Brain is the center of thoughts. We think about what we think about. So this is the brain of the brain. तो हम लोग जो मतलब समझ ये ये जो ब्रेन है मतलब जो बाहर बाहर में जो हो रहा है और अंदर में जो हो रहा है वो ये ब्रेन समझने के लिए ये मदद करता है और हम लोग का पूरा मतलब शरीर को भी ये कंट्रोल करता है ये ब्रेन तो ये ब्रेन चार पार्ट्स को होता है पहला आएगा शरीर ब्रह्म दूसरा आएगा डायंसिफलॉन डायंसिफलॉन में फिर से हम लोग को दो पार्ट्स मिलेगा वो है थैलेमस और हाइपोथैलेमस और तीसरा नंबर क्या है ब्रेन स्टेम तो ये ब्रेन स्टेम तीन पार्ट्स में आएगा एक है मिड ब्रेन दूसरा है पॉन्स तीसरा है मेडुला अवलंबता और चार नंबर का क्या है चार नंबर सरिबलन सरिबलन ओके सो दिस आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन Okay, so now let's talk about uh, the first part that is cerebrum. So this is the cerebrum and the cerebrum, it is the largest uh, part of the brain, this cerebrum. And the cerebrum, they have, uh, they have got uh, two parts, it is right and the left hemispheres. Right and left. Yes, right and left. And uh, this cerebrum, what do they do? Uh, they uh, they do some function like like what interpreting touch means uh, interpreting touch means what uh, with the help of like uh, something if you touch something like uh, you will be able to just know it say for example you have closed your eyes and you have uh, touch uh, maybe uh, say say anything like books or water or anything so just by closing your eyes also like you will be able to just uh, know it what whatever you have been touching or whatever you are touching so that one is known as interpreting touch. Next is vision and hearing. So with the help of the cerebrum, uh, you uh, you are able to see as well as you are able to hear, and also as well as speech. Like you you are able to speak. I'm able to speak now because of what? Because of the cerebrum. Next is reasoning. So reasoning means what? Like uh, say for example. Uh, because of some reason, like uh, you you were not able to attend the class today, so like say for example, like um, personal issue and so and so. So uh, if the teacher will ask you why were you absent or why you didn't attend the class, what will you say? You'll obviously say the reason. It's not it. So who is helping you in that? The cerebrum is helping you in that. Uh, next is emotions. So with the help of uh, the cerebrum, you you are able to. Uh, control your emotions, I mean maintain your emotions, happy, sad, all these things. Next is what? Learning. Uh, you are able to learn something with the help of this cerebrum. Next is find control of movement. So find control of movement means what? Uh, with the help of this cerebrum, uh, you are able to control the things, uh, whatever you, you have been doing, whatever you are doing. And walking, sleeping, eating, means all these movements, whatever you move your body, it's not it. So, all these are possible because of what? Because of this cerebrum. Pehla part kya hai cerebrum? Brain ka pehla part hai cerebrum. To ye picture dekne se pata chal jata hai ki ye cerebrum sabse bada part hai brain ka. To hum loko brain, cerebrum, dono parts nahi lega, go hai right or लेफ्ट हेमिस्फीयर दोनों साइड्स में है ठीक है राइट और लेफ्ट हेमिस्फीयर तो ये सेरेब्रम क्या करता है ये सेरेब्रम इंटरप्रेटिंग टच मतलब अगर हम लोग कुछ छूने से मान लो कि तुमने आंख बंद करके कुछ छुआ है तो वो जो तुम छू रहे हो सपोज से यू हैव टच वाटर और यू हैव टच समथिंग 
anything. So you'll be able to just know it with the help of this one, with the help of this cerebrum. Next is vision. You are able to see the Amelab Tum Chizu ko dek sakte ho. It is cerebrum ke madad ke vade se. Next kya hearing. Madad tum kuch sun sakte ho. Yeh cerebrum ke vade se. As well as speech. Madad tum kuch bol sakte ho. Yeh cerebrum ke madad ke vade se. Next kya hai reasoning. Madad tum kuch karan de rahe ho. Yeh desi ki bolo ki aaj so, I'm late to the class. Why? Suppose you had a personal reason. So, if you ask the teacher why you were absent or why you were late, then why did you get the reason? So, you say the reason. What is the reason? Next, what is emotions? You can keep your own emotions, or happy, 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 you can keep all of them in your mind. Why? Because of the cerebrum. Next, what is learning? You can learn some new things. सीख रहे हो या सीखते हो क्यों क्योंकि सेलेब्रम की मदद के वजह से नेक्स्ट क्या है फाइन कंट्रोल मूवमेंट मतलब तुम हिल सकते हो तुम को काम कर सकते हो क्यों क्योंकि सेलेब्रम की मदद के वजह से ओके इसे क्लियर अबाउट सेलेब्रम यस मैम ओके नेक्स्ट इस सेलेब्रम इस वन Next is cerebellum. So the cerebellum, uh, where they are located, they are located just downside of the cerebrum. So this is your cerebrum. So the cerebellum, they lies uh, under the cerebrum. Okay, under this. And this cerebellum, uh, what is the function of this cerebellum? Uh, they help in coordination of movement, muscle. Understand, coordination of muscle means uh, uh, if you perform something, if you perform, if you do something, if you do some work, what will happen? They help you in coordinating something. Say, I'll just say one example. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, you are walking. So if you are walking, what will happen? Your both of your legs will coordinate. It's not it, they will they will be in sync. It's not like a one only one leg only like one leg will um, move on and on. Even the other leg also. I mean. The other leg also, they, both, both will help you in walking. So it means what? This means what? This means coordinate, coordinate muscles. Okay, it means they work together. Next is uh, maintain posture. So the cerebellum, they help you in maintaining your uh, body posture also. Next is balance. Uh, you are able to balance yourself because of this cerebellum. Cerebellum. क्या है क्या है ओके नेक्स्ट सर्विबलम तो सर्विबलम कहाँ पे है ठीक सर्विबलम के नीचे में है और ये सर्विबलम Coordinate muscle means one thing to do with one thing. Okay, one thing to do with one thing. Okay, Shan Ahmed, you can see that. Shan Ahmed, can you see that? Okay, so what does this cerebellum do? It means it helps you in one way. Let me give you an example. If you are going, what will happen? You will not go to one side. It will not go to one side. It will go to one side. It will go to one side. It will go to one side. Coordinate muscle. It will go to one side. Coordinate muscle movements. Movements means that you are moving. Okay, you are feeling, so you say movement. Next, what is maintain posture? I mean, you maintain your posture. Like sitting, 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 sitting. Next, what is balance? This is all cerebral. Balance is what we do. What we do is 
ये सरेबलम की मदद की वजह से बैलेंस होता है ओके नेक्स्ट इज ब्रेन स्टेम सो दिस इज अ ब्रेन स्टेम एंड द ब्रेन स्टेम दे आर आई मीन दे आर इन बिटवीन द सरेब्रम एंड द सरेबलम द सरेब्रम और सॉरी द ब्रेन स्टेम Uh, they are in between the cerebrum, this one cerebrum and the cerebellum. Understand? And uh, this brain stem, what do they do? They do some automatic functions. Automatic functions like what? Breathing. Breathing they do. Then uh, heart rate means they also maintain the cardiovascular system. Heart rate. Next is they also maintain uh, your body temperature. Next is and they also helps in what sleep cycle. Sleep cycle, sleep cycle. I mean, uh, your sleeping pattern. Uh, they also helps. They also helps in what digestion. They also helps in what they also helps you in sneezing. It happens automatically. It's not it always sneezing and all also. So it helps you in that. Next is what coughing. You can cough. You used to cough because of what? Because of the brain stem. Uh, next is vomiting. You vomit because of the brain stem. Next is swallowing. You can swallow because of the the brain stem. So all these are the things which you can perform, or else which you can do because of the brain stem. Next, there is brain stem. Uh, brain stem, cerebr cerebrum, or cerebellum, के बीच में मिलता है, ठीक है? और ये क्या करता है? ये मतलब uh, हम लोग का वो ब्रीदिंग मतलब हम लोग जब सांस लेते हैं वो वहाँ पे मदद करता है मतलब एक्चुअली ये ऑटोमेटिक फंक्शंस है तो उसके वजह से ये ऑटोमेटिक हो जाता है ब्रीदिंग यानी कि सांस लेना हार्ट रेट मतलब जो कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम है वो अच्छे से बरकरार रखने के लिए मदद करता है नेक्स्ट क्या बॉडी टेम्परेचर हम लोग का बॉडी जो है हम लोग शरीर जो है टेम्परेचर अच्छे से रहने के लिए अच्छे से मैंटेन करने के लिए मदद करता है नेक्स्ट क्या है स्लीप साइकिल मतलब हम लोग का सोने का ढंग हम हम लोग का सोने का तरीका ये ब्रेन स्टैम के मदद की वजह से हम लोग कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट क्या है डाइजेशन मतलब डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए खाना वगैरह वो सब वो सब के लिए मदद करता है स्नीजिंग मतलब छीकना कफ करना और वॉमिटिंग करना और कुछ गिलना स्वालोइंग मतलब गिलना वो तो ये सब काम करने में ये ब्रेन स्टैम मदद करते हैं Next is uh, diencephalon, and that is hypothalamus and thalamus. All about this, I have already explained to you in the endocrine system. So I want to explain to you separately again because I have already explained it. Next, we have diencephalon. Diencephalon means hypothalamus or thalamus. I have already explained to you in the endocrine system. So I will not say anything more. Okay, is it clear about all the parts of the brain? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I'll just explain to you about the lobes of the brain. Then I'll end here. In the next class, I'll explain to you the the parts of the lobe and also as well as uh, the functions of each lobe. आज मैं सिर्फ कितना लोब्स है वो वो बताऊंगी. Next class में मतलब सब लोब्स का function Explain कर लूँगी। Okay, so the cerebral hemisphere, uh, it is divided into what? Into lobes. Lobes means what? Uh, parts. So uh, it has got four lobes. The brain. So the first one is frontal lobe. Frontal lobe is here. Okay, one. We have one frontal lobe. Uh, next one is what? Temporal. Temporal is two. One, two. Temporal. Next is parietal. Parietal is this one. Okay, one, two. We have two parietal lobe, and the last is what? The last is occipital lobe. Occipital lobe is here one, only one. Okay, this portion, this portion. So this is the occipital lobe. Frontal lobe one. Then next is temporal lobe. This two, one, two. Next is uh, parietal one, two, and the last is occipital here at the back. So, 
uh, you have four lobes of the brain. Is it clear, everyone? Is it clear till here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then that's all for today's class. Thank you.